Hi, I'm Shane from PDQ.com. All right, our first video on getting started with free mode. Uh, we showed you how to add computers using Active Directory uh, or typing in computers by name. I showed you a little bit about, about collections, both dynamic and static. Now I'm going to show you some basic functions, even more, on, uh, on, on scanning. So we've got these computers. Once again, this is in free mode. In pro or enterprise mode, you can schedule scans, but uh, in free mode, it's just uh, on-demand scanning. So uh, let's go ahead and say I want to initiate a new inventory scan on these three computers. I'm going to multi-select those. Go to the scan button right there and just hit scan. So uh, now it's initiating a new scan. If that computer's offline, then obviously it won't be able to be scanned. Um, uh, but this is a way for you to update your data automatically. Let's open up a computer window now. I'm going to go to D10CHR Lab. All right, so here's our what we call the computer window. A computer window is broken down into several categories. You have your, obviously, your, your, in the computer window, you have what's called the computer page. And this just gives you basic information. If the computer is in Active Directory, it, it breaks down the, the, the OU in which the computer resides. If you have description or location tags uh, populated, it will show those. Um, the general information, the description under general is the computer description versus the Active Directory description over there. Uh, it gives you information such as how long this has been online, uh, if there's a current user that, that's, that's logged in. This information is all based off of the last inventory scan. So a user could log in and log out. We would never know it um, if we didn't scan uh, between those, those logins. Uh, and then basic uh, you know, OS information. You can go ahead and peruse and see that. A very popular page to go to is applications. This shows you the applications that are installed on this particular computer and their corresponding version. So we invite you to, to, to pop through Take a peek, look at the hot fixes, uh, the NIC configurations, etc. It's fairly self-explanatory. Um, those items that have a lock, that's where you need at least pro or enterprise mode to access that, that information. So once again, it's just uh, clicking the scan button. Um, you can also you know, take advantage of shortcuts. Uh, a shortcut would be like F6. You can just say, I'm just gonna select these computers and hit your F6 button and it will initiate a scan. Uh, if you want to use reports or anything like that, uh, by all means, in free mode, you're limited to the reports that we built. You can create your own, but you can't save them. Uh, that requires saving and you know uh, collecting your different reports, uh, requires pro or enterprise, but you can still run these reports, make changes. It's just uh, you can't save those changes. Um, if you have any questions, by all means, hit up our support site. Good luck with PDQ. Uh, let us know how we can help.